Ready? Now, if you were to ask me what is your favorite BMW, right? I will most probably say the 3 Series. Why? Because it's literally the sweet spot in terms of its size. The 1 Series and 2 Series a little too small, whereas the 5 Series and 7 Series a little too huge. But the 3 Series is just perfect. Now, if you think about it, right? The BMW M3 would cost you over 800,000 ringgit. And that's a tough pill to swallow because it's very expensive. And that's when this car comes in. At just around 400,000, half of what the M3 costs, you still get the looks, you still get the drama. Obviously, it's less power than the M3, but with almost 400 horsepower and 500 Newton meters of torque, right? I feel that's actually more than enough. Okay, onto the exterior styling itself. Firstly, let's talk about the color Brooklyn Gray. It has to be one of the best colors suited for the 3 Series. So, from the front, right, you can see it looks very aggressive, right? But I know it's not as aggressive as the M3, but we can all agree that this car, the grille, looks much better than the M3. Because for the M3, you got the large kidney grills, right? Some people love it, some people don't. But for this, I will assume majority actually accept the size of this. Yeah, it looks very, very nice. You got this new design for the kidney grill. So instead of having the traditional vertical slats, you now have this honeycomb shape. And they got a very cool feature as well, which is this right here. If you take a look at this, right? These are currently closed. So these are called active shutters, which basically opens up when it needs air to feed the engine but when it doesn't need it closes for aerodynamics yeah it's a very cool feature so you see the bottom here the owner also added this gloss black lip for extra sportiness you got this side air curtain for air to go towards the side you also have this new design on the adaptive headlights which looks very very good okay you can see you got these lights right here so this one is actually the other way around the daytime running lights is actually flipped inverted the pre facelift version right is actually the other way around this one now they flip it upwards which looks much better in my opinion okay now as you head towards the side right i also love how actually they design the wheels because you can see you have very sporty two-tone color you got the diamond cut finish the gloss black and you got the m sport brake calipers in red as well very sporty and then you got this side mirror caps m sport side mirror caps in gloss black with the iconic fin that protrudes out yeah very very nice but one thing about this car is it loses to the M3 in terms of this area right here because the M3 has the fender flare sticking out much wider you have a very big booty whereas this car you can see it's actually flushed now that's when the M3 actually looks much better on this area okay so you head towards the back you can see now this car right one thing I noticed right is picture don't do this car justice okay you have to see in person to actually appreciate the sculpture that this car has you can see from this angle right you can see how this one is actually extended towards the back and then you can see the headlights, the tail lights as well, right? You got this three-dimensional shape to it. In pictures, right, you can't actually see it's like flat. But if you touch, you can see this piece actually sticks out. Yeah, it's very cool. And the brake color lights actually extends all the way towards the side, which accentuate the back of the car, the width. Yeah, it looks absolutely beautiful. And bottom here you can see so this one comes with the lci version you got this new design in terms of this gloss black piece that sticks up and then towards here you got this gloss black diffuser with the vertical slats you got dual exhaust pipes on the sides and this car we pop open the boot yes this car is powered tailgate it reveals a huge amount of space so this car even though you can see it's all about performance right it's also extremely practical and you can see you have two luggages two big size luggages here you can fit inside the car yeah because this car is very very practical so yeah so let me just introduce these two luggages so these are from Yukana they have different colors shapes and sizes and one thing I love about it right it's extremely durable they actually tested it like crash tested it it's also waterproof and best of all it's very very affordable so if any of you guys are interested to purchase luggages I leave the link down below so you can check them out yeah that's very cool okay and then you press this it has powered tailgate how cool is it normally the 5 series will have it the 3 series doesn't yeah just take a look at the back end it looks absolutely beautiful now to enter the car right there are actually a few different methods you can do number one will be using the traditional car key all right number two will be using from your phone you can actually use your phone to unlock the car as well and number three is the most interesting one will be this right here the bmw key card so this is the digital key card and what's really cool about this right only the m340i 
owners right will get this design got an M with this gloss black style design with the red color lining around the sides yeah if you were to lose this you have to pay extra 300 ringgit yeah really really nice detail so what I have to do is just tap it here the car unlocks then you can just pop open the door and head inside but just before we head into the cockpit right let's check out the back seats first so you have to open you can see this car even though it's all about performance right, you can see it's very practical so remember i can put two boot at two luggage at the back right so these are two large size 28 inch luggages so you can see you can fit inside easily and you can fit another one here and technically you can actually put this seat down and put four large size 28 inch luggages behind yeah it's extremely practical so it's not about performance only this car can use it as a family car as a daily car as well yeah which is really really cool all right so now let's head inside let's just go inside take a seat inside all right so the key right in order to start the car you have to put it right here just like that so once it's in all I have to do is now I'm going to start this car in sport plus mode so you just press sport okay so it's in sport plus now foot on the brake and just press it oh I'm not sure if the camera can pick up how good this car sounds at startup yeah it'd be much louder if it's during cold start so yeah so you can see this is a new LCI screen now I know some people actually don't like this new design some people actually like the pre facelift one where you got a separate screen for the infotainment screen and the instrumented cluster but over time you actually get used to it and start to love this design because you can see you got this elongated curved display yeah with both the infotainment screen and the instrumented cluster integrated as one and it's very clear as well you have apple carplay android auto everything you need is literally inside here and it's very clear as well you can see yeah it's very high definition okay so you also have this steering wheel as well so this is the m sport steering wheel so the owner actually changed this part right here so now it's finished in matte carbon fiber with alcantara here so before this it wasn't like this you got paddle shifters here yeah the interior is actually very very nice now obviously the mercedes interior looks much better in terms of its uh, ambient lighting this one also has ambient lighting but it's not much okay it's very subtle yeah it looks very good at night as well so you can see now this car actually the seats also is much lower than the mercedes if you compare this to the mercedes c43 right this car actually sits much lower as compared to it so yeah so give you a much sportier feel you also get this seat belt with the tricolore bmw color on the side yeah it's a neat detail you have a sunroof on top yeah very very cool all right so now let's take this car out for a drive Right now, let's go out for a drive in the M34i. We just pumped the full tank of fuel here in the Shell petrol station. So, for the brake start, spot mode. Ooh, listen to that pops. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. Yeah, but it's nice. So, you can see this shifter here, gear shifter. So, this is comes with the new BMWs. Yeah, you no longer have the shift knob. Got this tiny thing. Push down to D and let's go. Okay, let's squeeze out right here. Just like that. Signal right. Always have to use the signal because they say BMW drivers don't use signal. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to find a stretch of road to push this car, give it test its limits. Okay, now just before that, let me show you a few things on this car, right? So basically, if you come down here, there are a few different modes to choose from. You got Eco, okay, which basically saves fuel. Then you got this, Comfort which is more comfortable setting. So this car, right, the M34i comes with uh, M Sport adaptive suspension. So basically, it depends on the mode you change, it becomes stiffer, and even the steering wheel as well. If you change on Sport, it becomes heavier and much more responsive. So yeah, we're gonna test it out later. And what's really cool, right, if I press on Sport, okay, you can see, you click on Configure Individual. You can see now, these are the things that you can control. Okay, so you can change the damper, the steering, the drivetrain, transmission, whether you want sporty or normal. Yeah, it's really cool. It gives you the flexibility to play around. Okay. And another cool thing on sport mode, right? If you go to home, you swipe this way. That means it's a bit dangerous to drive while playing with this. You go here, you can see, you got this active life display. And you got this. It tells you all the data. So when I accelerate, you can see. Yeah, it's really cool. You get to see the torque, the kilowatt, the turbo boost, the pressure, everything is inside here. Yeah, it's a very cool graph. And this one is only available on the sport mode. Okay, so now we're going towards Panchala Ling Toh. Test it out. 
Okay, let's go into S to sport. Oh, listen to that. Yeah, this car sounds wow. So this car uses a 3-litre turbocharged 6-cylinder engine that produces around 387 horsepower and 500 newton meters of torque. And this car can go from 0 to 100 in 4.4 seconds. But that is claimed. But this car, right, I've seen online, people actually do it in 3.8 seconds. That's ridiculously fast. Because, right, bear in mind the M3, right, 800,000, uh, costs two times of this, does it in 3.5 seconds. So is it worth it to pay extra 400k more for those few seconds? Yeah, probably not. All right, so now we're currently at this stretch of road, third gear in Sport Plus. Go to second, let's go. Ooh, listen to that. Downshift. Ooh, sounds heavenly. All right, let's go through the toe. To second. Ooh, the downshift. So this car is currently using the stock exhaust and it really sounds very, very good. It's not as obnoxious, it's just nice, very classy, very deep, very bassy. And every shift you press, right, it gives you the pop, the bassy pop. Yeah, I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up, but yeah, let me show you. So let's go. Listen to this. When I shift, boom, boom. Yeah, and then it's got some pops as well at the back. Yeah, so this car, right, if you want to change exhaust, it costs you around fifteen to 20,000. Yeah, that one will definitely sound much better with more pops. Yeah, but this one is just nice. It's not too lala, that's <laughs> what they would say. Okay, so now currently, we're here. So just wind out the window a bit. Okay, just a little bit. Downshift. Fourth. Third. Second. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> All right, my right number, you know, a lot of wind noise. Third, let's go. Oh, sounds. It's not loud, yeah, but it sounds great. There's a police right there. Okay, probably I could have slowed down. Oh no, someone. Okay. <laughs> All right, luckily. Yeah, there's a Honda City tailgating me. Okay, probably you want to challenge me? Okay, let him through. <laughs> Challenge me. So this car makes almost four times more horsepower than that. That car, 100 horsepower. It's almost 400. Yeah. What a car, what a car. So this car is actually quite comfortable to drive as well. Yes, it may be a bit more stiff, but remember that this car behind, you can actually fit people, can fit two person or three, two person comfortably, because the middle you can't, because there's a central tunnel right there. But yeah, this car is not too bad. Okay, so now we're going back. We just made a U-turn, going for round two. Now I'm going to show you something very interesting on this car, right? Only for the M340i onwards. Okay, so basically the M340i, the M3 will have this feature. So what happens, right, is on Sport Plus mode, when you shift above 6K RPM, right, here basically shows you the light indicator where it goes to yellow and it goes to red for you to shift. Yeah, it's really, really cool. I didn't know until you actually pedal to metal. Yeah, which I'll show you guys later, okay? So another thing also, right, is this car has the largest head-up display. I'm not sure you can see, but it's in front. From that view, I don't think you can see. I just put a, an overlap. So it has the largest head-up display on any, any other brand. So BMW has the largest one. And for this car, it's even larger than the 5 Series. Yeah, it looks very cool. At first, when you look at it, it looks like it's blocking your view. But over time, you actually get used to it. Yeah, it shows you everything. And if, let's say you play Apple Maps, right, you even show the direction in front of you, which is very helpful. Okay, but rarely you use the Apple Maps, okay? Yeah, it'd be nice if they use Waze, but they don't. Alright. Okay, so now approaching the toe, so you guys can see clearer. So now in your fourth gear, if you go to third, okay, if you come closer, you come here and see. So you see when I go to second, uh, take, ready? Saw that? Yeah, it's really cool. Downshift, in the third. Yeah, I saw the light show. Yeah, that's a very cool feature. Okay, let me just slow down for a bit. Go back to second. Ready? Ooh! Yeah. It can be even higher. Yeah, it can higher. be even higher. Yeah. yeah, but this is not my car, so I didn't dare to do it. <laughs> yeah, but it sounds... Wow! <laughs> sounds so good. Not enough road also. Yep. Because now currently there's traffic. So yeah, can't push it to its limit. So we're just going to do one more acceleration after 
this toll. Yeah, but of course, we have to do it gently because there's yeah, a lot of traffic. All right, so let's go. Nope, not high enough in the ref range. Too, Too much high. traffic. Yep, can't do it. Safety first, guys. And that's about it guys, my review of the M340i. So do you guys agree with me that this is currently the best 3 series you can buy in terms of its performance? Because yes, the M3 costs over 800,000 ringgit, which is double of what this car costs. So do you think it's worth it? I'm interested to know your thoughts below. So leave it down in the comment section. Alright, so on that note, if you guys enjoyed, please remember to like, subscribe because it will be hugely appreciated. And I shall catch you guys next time. Ciao!